हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ इट हेल्प्स इन योर लर्निंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट लोकेट द सेंट्राइड वाई बार ऑफ दिस ब्लू शेडेड एरिया एंड दिस कर्वेचर इज डिफाइंड बाय वाई एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स सो इज वी नो दैट वाई बार इज इक्वल टू द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वाई टिल्डर टाइम्स डी ए डिवाइडेड बाय द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी ए so to evaluate this equation we have to define our differential area r d a so let's say that this is my differential area and it is located at a distance of x from the origin let's say that this differential strip is located at a distance of x and its height is given by the y and the its width is dx so now uh, i can write that da equals to uh, y times dx and y is given as a function of x and if we integrate both sides so we will be able to find this denominator of this uh, equation so i can write that y is h divided by e n into x to the power n dx and this means that this is the summation of da the integral of da is the summation of the areas of all the differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to a so we need to integrate this from 0 to a so this will give us the total blue shaded area so now this is these are constants h divided by e to the power n is constant and if we integrate this so this is we have to add 1 to the power and we have to divide it by that same power and this is from 0 to a so now if we put these limits this is h a to the power n and this is a to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 we can split this this e to the power n plus 1 is also equal to the a to the power n into a and a to the power n is going to cancel each other so that integral da the denominator equals to h a divided by n plus 1 similarly this numerator this numerator is y tilde times da and this is equal to and what is y tilde y tilde is the location of the centroid of uh, this differential strip from the x axis so this is y tilde and as we can see that uh, this centroid of this differential strip is located at the mid length right so this means that y tilde is equal to y divided by 2 so we can write that y divided by 2 and da is y times dx so this will become y square divided by 2 let me write it here and one we can write one divided by 2 outside of the integral so this is y square dx and again the integral is since the integration is with respect to x and the x is from 0 to a so is we are given that y is equal to h a to the power n x to the power n so if we take square so this will be y square so this will become h square a to the power 2n x to the power 2n and we can write it like this this is 1 divided by 2 y square is h square divided by a to the power 2n x to the power 2n dx and this is from 0 to a and these are also constants so we can write that this is h square divided by 2 times a to the power 2n and the integral of x to the power 2n is uh, x to the power 2n plus 1 divided by the same power that is 2n plus 1 and again this is from 0 to a so now if i put these limits this is h square divided by 2a to the power 2n this will become a to the power 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 and now if i put 0 in this equation so everything will become 0 so we are left with this now i can split this power this is a to the power 2n plus 1 so we can write it as a to the power 2n multiply by a and this will cancel out so we are left with h square a divided by 2 into 2n plus 1 so this is the numerator of that equation 
So now we can write that y bar is equal to, this is equal to this thing. So we can write this is h square a divided by 2n plus 1 divided by this thing. This is the integral of dA, this is the total area. So this is h a divided by n plus 1. So as we can see that this h is going to cancel this 1h and this a. So we will be left with y bar and this is this is h divided by 2n plus 1 and divided by 1 divided by n plus 1 or we can write it as n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into h. So this is the location y bar of the centroid of this blue shaded area. So I hope this video will help you in your learning. If it helps in your learning, kindly subscribe my channel and like this video for such more problems from Hibbler Statics.